this is Sumar Auji of Cakes and More and this is the video series Baking for Beginners. When you're baking, the ingredients are as important as the recipes and the techniques you'd be using to make these. Because even the seemingly really innocuous ones like sugar can make a lot of difference to the taste and the texture of your uh, bakes and desserts. As a child, I knew probably one or two kinds of sugar, uh, maybe the granulated sugar and the powdered sugar which I would eat with my uh, chapatis and maybe a bit of ghee. And uh, then gradually I discovered that there is lots and lots of kinds of sugar and uh, using the right kind of sugar can uh, make a real lot of difference to the uh, taste and texture of your uh, cakes and uh, baked goods. So here are a few different uh, kinds of uh, sugars available to us here in India though you would also find a lot more variety in other countries. This is regular granulated sugar, the kind you would be having at home and using it every day. Uh, the crystals will be quite uh, coarse and quite big and of course there's a lot of variety in this also in the regular granulated sugar. Uh, the size of the crystals varies and uh, then again that would also impact the texture of your uh, cakes and your uh, cookies. And here is some more granulated sugar. You can see that this is a lot less uh, coarse than the one we saw previously. And if you would be using this kind of granulated sugar in recipes which call for granulated sugar, then in all probabilities your cake will not have a great texture nor will your cookies be really uh, tender and crisp because these uh, granules do not uh, really dissolve quickly and uh, then they may leave the crunch and then it may not also have the uh, right kind of texture you're looking for. So it's best not to use uh, this kind of uh, sugar in baking uh, as it is though I like to process it briefly in my uh, uh, processor in the smallest jar and then I try to uh, make it a little fine and then use it in my uh, cakes and my desserts and I have really not had any kind of disasters so far with the sugar. Please do remember that when I mention powdered sugar in my recipes, I mean regular granulated sugar which has been processed briefly uh, to make it uh, slightly more fine. Then we have uh, this thing called as uh, caster sugar and as you can see uh, this is really really fine this is granulated sugar as well but the crystals are really fine caster sugar is quite uh, commonly available in most uh, supermarkets so you should not have any trouble finding this try to use this in recipes which call for uh, creaming of butter and sugar caster sugar is really fine but uh, it dissolves quite quickly in the batter and also the sharp edges of the sugar uh, when creamed with the butter creates pockets of air in the batter making your uh, cake and your cookies quite light. So please do use caster sugar in recipes which call for uh, creaming of butter and sugar together. And also do try to experiment with uh, different varieties of uh, uh, granulated sugar available uh, to you. Uh, if the granules are quite fine and it, the sugar dissolves quickly then that may also work for you. And this is brown sugar. This is uh, regular sugar to which some amount of molasses has been added. Uh, so this is moist and uh, this is always specified in measures of uh, packed cups, say a one packed cup of brown sugar or half a cup of uh, packed brown sugar. And uh, using brown sugar lends a lovely butterscotch flavor to your uh, cakes and your uh, desserts. You could also make your own brown sugar if you can find some molasses. It's just a matter of uh, mixing together some uh, molasses and uh, some regular sugar and then you would have your brown sugar. But finding molasses is not so easy and it's also quite expensive to buy molasses here in India. So you're probably better off buying some brown sugar. I like to use this brand called as Trust and uh, this works quite well for me. And you could also experiment with the premium brands for uh, richer and better flavor. And then there is light brown sugar and dark brown sugar depending on the amount of molasses that has been added to the sugar. But uh, then we do get only one kind of uh, brown sugar here. So uh, this goes for any recipe which specifies brown sugar, light or dark. And in any recipe which requires you to use brown sugar, you could always swap the same uh, uh, amount of uh, white sugar in it. But uh, then if you are trying to make a butterscotch sauce or maybe a brown sugar cake, then you would have to really try hard to find the butterscotch flavor in it. But otherwise in most recipes, if uh, you would be using white sugar in place of the brown sugar, that should also work good. Then we have this uh, sugar called as uh, Demirara sugar and uh, uh, most of the times if you walk into any supermarket and ask for brown sugar you will be handed this you will be given a packet of uh, demerara sugar 
uh, that's what they call it around here and uh, this is also brown sugar but the uh, crystals are really coarse and uh, very big though this also has that butterscotch flavor and uh, uh, this is very very crunchy and hard to dissolve so I wouldn't really recommend uh, using this in cakes and uh, cookies though you could probably use this as a crunchy topping on your uh, muffins and your uh, cakes if you would like that and then we have this uh, sugar called as icing sugar you would have heard of it and seen uh, packs of this thing at the supermarket uh, this is regular powdered sugar to which about 3% of cornstarch has been added and uh, this is normally used for making royal icing and just for sifting over uh, cakes and uh, desserts uh, then you could use this sugar but normally not recommended for using in cakes or anything uh, which requires cooking or baking because then the uh, taste of the starch would be evident and that would uh, ruin your cake or your uh, bake and then there is lots more like muscovado sugar and uh, pearl sugar, uh, super fine sugar, ultra fine sugar, bar sugar and lots more which is not available to us here uh, so easily if you do have access to these kinds of sugar please do try experiment with these and uh, I will envy you for this and there's lots more coming up on different ingredients used in baking please do stay tuned